Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Ivana, I'm from Italy and I make videos both in Italian and in English. Today is tattoo day. It's the day I'll show you my tattoos, tell you their story and their meaning. I have eight tattoos now. I got all of them in the last one year and a half and I get another three and an extension of one of my tattoos in two months. So I really can't wait to get my new tattoos and show you the ones I already have. This is my first tattoo and everyone says that it's the prettiest and most aesthetic one and yeah, I really love it. It's the perfect beginning because it says write your own story and writing is the way I express myself the best. Also the moon is my element and <laughs> as you can see colors, the galaxy, unicorn color palette, it's really my color palette so yep this tattoo is just perfect this is the beginning of my story the story of telling who i am and showing who i am and second one is always it's the first one i decided to get many years ago i firstly wanted to get it here but it would be too small so in the end i decided to put it somewhere else yes it's that always and it's dedicated to me and my four best friends which I met many years ago thanks to Harry Potter and the Harry Potter fandom. Um, it also means that even in the hardest times I've always stayed true to myself. This always means really, really much more than just the always from Harry Potter, but Harry Potter is a big part of my life. I met the most important people in my life thanks to Harry Potter. I grew up as a um, writer, discovered so many things thanks to Harry Potter, so yeah, it means a lot, a lot of things. On the same day I got Fighter and this is for uh, Christina Aguilera's song Fighter. Christina Aguilera is... Uh, she's my goddess, I love her so, so, so much. As you can see, Always and Fighter <laughs> are twins. They are on the same part of my body in the same font. Um, I wanted to get them together when I decided to get Fighter 2. I wanted Always here and Fighter here, but in the end, as I said, I decided to put there somewhere else. Everyone who knows me even a little bit knows how much I love Christina Aguilera and how much Fighter as a song means to me. That is my song and it's the song that helped me so many years ago and it saved me during the hardest time of my life. On the same day I got this one. This is the logo of the Makeup Academy I went to three years ago. <laughs> like the other tattoos, it means a lot more than that. It's, uh, yes, of course, is dedicated to that academy, to my um, teachers, but it also symbolizes a very important decision I made for my life. That was, it's because my instinct told me that I had to do that. I've always wanted to try and become a makeup artist, but I never had the courage to do that, really. But in 2016, uh, I thought, maybe I can try and it took me a whole year to decide to do that but everything was telling me that I had to do that. I had to try and that the ProLab Make Academy was the right choice for me and that was really the best thing I've ever done for myself. It really changed my life and me as a person so yeah this is really really important this is when i decided to start loving myself for real then i got the one on my back this one which is so 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 pretty i love cherry it. blossoms mean a lot to me they symbolize beauty and uh, a new beginning a new life and also my passion and my love for japan i regret nothing doesn't really need much explanation. If everything I've done in my life, the good things and the mistakes, the heartbreaks and, uh, and the suffering too, were necessary to 
get me to who I am today, to the point of my life where I am today, then it's okay. I'm okay with that. With all of that, the nice things, the happy times and the bad times, the hard ones, the bad decisions and the mistakes. I'm, I'm okay with that because I wouldn't be me without those experiences. I won't look back anymore and think about my decisions. I'm okay with that. I can make peace with my good choices, my bad choices and everything out of my control that happened to me. It's okay. It's who I am and I love. <laughs> I love myself. I truly do. Then we have the Smeraldo flower. This one. It's my first explicit BTS tattoo. I'm sure many of you already know it, but if you don't know, this is BTS flower. It's called the Esmeralda flower and I chose this as my uh, explicit symbol of love for BTS. The word written here, it's wing. Yes, it's one wing and it's the English word but written in Korean. It's not a mistake, it's my choice. I wanted to make it this way. I always say that wings fly when they are together. I have one wing, BTS have the other and we can fly together. This, this may sound cheesy but yeah, this is how I feel about BTS. I'm not complete without them and you know, the flower, the purple color, wings, this is all elements that armies know really 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 well this is the most important tattoo of my life ever this will always be the most important of all of them this is the celebration of my being alive i won't go into too much details but 20 years ago i got a second chance at life my grandmother literally saved my life this one is for me and for her it's our tattoos she was more than a mother to me and she passed away when i was 18 almost 19. i had to celebrate our love i wouldn't be here without her so i had to celebrate this and i had to celebrate me and her. these specific words are something that hozok said hozok if you don't know him and you've never watched my videos, he's J-Hope from BTS. Yes, it's, it's always him, it's always BTS and it's always J-Hope. You, <laughs> you know, what a surprise. Uh, it's something that he said about himself during last year's uh, BTS Festa. I, I was struggling to find the shape to put my feelings into for this tattoo. Then, when I was watching uh, BTS Festa from 1219, he said those words about himself and I had to stop the video because I was crying. I just burst out crying like immediately and I felt in my heart that I found the words to express what this tattoo means to me, what I wanted to convey through this tattoo. When Chiara, the tattoo artist, finish this tattoo I had to take a moment because I got emotional and I cried a little bit but I was so happy it was like finding myself finding who I truly am and yeah I really really wish I could tell Hozok about this tattoo but you know I'm just telling you the last one is Moonchild is the one I have here on my breast it's like a sexy tattoo because um, many people get tattoos here on their color but, but even if I lose weight my collarbone doesn't show I have to stay like this but it doesn't really show so um, I didn't want to get the tattoo here because it's not in line you know you can't really see my collarbone here so it doesn't really bother me I wanted it to be here and yeah maybe it's a bit sexy because it's really right on my breast <laughs> but i want it to be here because it's nice and 
it doesn't get into the way of my of the of, of my clothes so I wanted this tattoo to be shown as as much as possible. Ever since I was a child I've identified myself as a moon child. This particular moon is for myself because I'm a moon child. It's the moon from Sailor Moon and it's in purple because it's my color and it's related to BTS and also moon child refers to Namjoon. If you don't know who Namjoon is, he's RM, the leader of BTS and he's our moon child. So yeah, these are all my tattoos up until now. Maybe you can tell me which tattoos are your favorite, what you think about them and maybe uh, if you have tattoos of your own. You have Sailor Moon, uh, dedi Sailor Moon dedicated tattoos or BTS tattoos that would be that would be very nice to have a chat together. Um, yep, that's the video. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you in my next one. Bye.